So, watching this movie made me realize something that I am not a huge fan of M. Night Shyamalan style of directing. I'm just not. Uh, and it's like, I do like a lot of his movies or, you know, s several of his films or whatnot. I do like, um, what's it, The Sixth Sense. I do like Split. Unbreakable was kind of good. I, 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 I can say I like that. And what was the last one? Um, Glass. Glass is not, I don't know, like that, that movie, that's a whole nother review, but that movie wasn't that great. But it's certain movies that I do like, Signs, I do remember, you know, really liking that. And even to today, I still like it. But I just don't really like his style of directing. But I'm not about to bash this movie. That's not what this is all about. But I do have a lot to say about this movie. I can say really what i do like about the film is that it does have itself wrapped around a good mystery and i like when stories have the main characters or just the, whatever the characters in a predicament that they don't put themselves in something that's just unexpected something that they find themselves into that they stumble upon somebody else puts them into uh, unbeknownst to them or whatever and I, I like those type of settings because it's nothing stupid that they've done to put themselves in this and now they have to try and figure out a way to get out of this scenario and so watching this that was a good premise to go off of and it does you know has some good acting uh, here and there at certain parts uh, and really uh, there's no real good way to talk about this movie through my eyes to you know basically make it as a good film because to me it's not i went into this i wanted to like it but it was just a lot of things that was just like hitting me and just took me out of the film like unrealistic reactions i hate that in movies it don't matter if it's a horror drama whatever Unless your characters have a purpose on reacting a certain way, why are they reacting a certain type of, why are they reacting like nonchalantly or whatever? And M. Night has this with a lot of his films. Like, I don't know if it's just me that's noticing it, which I highly doubt, but a lot of his characters kind of like, they have a reaction like they lost their soul. And I don't know, more than likely, it's not even just on the actors. It's the way that they're being directed. Now, I'm not saying that M. Night is a bad director. But for some reason, he has his characters act in a manner to where it's kind of unrealistic. And it just dawned on me that M. Night must be kind of connecting all of these movies together to make his own little... Not I'm not saying like this is like a whole cinematic thing or whatever that he's doing. But it seemed kind of like a Twilight Zone kind of feel. The reason why the characters are acting a certain type of way. But I, I don't know. Like it's just... It's just... It, it, it's, it's always put me off about his films. Like you can look about... You can look at these this type of acting in signs. Especially with the happening... Uh, what is it? Lady in the Water. Uh, what is it? The Village. I believe. I ain't seen Village in a while, but I'm pretty sure that there is acting like that up in there. Even with, like, Split with Anya Taylor-Joy. Her character acts that way. I mean, she, if you've seen the movie, she kind of has maybe, I guess you could say a reason to act that way. But overall, their characters, even Bruce Willis's character in Unbreakable in Glass acts this way. And it's just like, I just can't wrap my head around it. Why these characters are acting that way? And that's what you get within this film. It's like these characters are acting so fucking weird. Like, it's just, I don't understand it. And it's just, I, I don't I don't know. Like, M. Night has his own way of how he wants to direct his actors. But it just really throws me off at the way he directs it. And it just, it comes off just... Kind of, it just takes me out the out the film when I see this type of act, and I really, I don't know. It feels like they wanted to act more, give more of a, a dramatic feel to like their reactions, but they couldn't because M Night wants them to act this type of way, and it's also within the way that it's written. Certain lines of dialogue, it's like that's not how real people talk. 
<laughs> you know, it's just so weird. And it's like, it's not just like one character does this, it's several characters. So there's no reason for all these different characters from different walks of life that don't know each other before this instance to act like this. And not only that, there is a thing in this movie where it's all about occupations. I don't know why. Little kid in the main family, little boy, he does this thing. Now, kids are going to do this, so I'll give it a pass. He goes up to people and asks them what's their name, their occupation. Once he learns that, he'll be like, okay, bye, and moves on to the next person. So I understand that. Kids do weird, crazy stuff like that. My son has done stuff of that nature. But every character in the movie mentions what they do several times throughout the film. And it's like, okay, does this really come into play? Some of them do, some of them do but not every one of them do like it's just like what's the point why do we need to know that you're a nurse why do we need to know that you're a doctor why do we need to know that you're a person that dig up like fossils why do we need to know these things like it just doesn't make sense and it's weird the dialogue is just off <laughs> but moving on and it's very ironic that this movie has to do with time and one of the things that is a negative about this movie to me is that it feels rushed from the beginning of the movie all the way to when we get to the island even as things going uh, uh, you know coming along progressing or whatever it just seemed like everything is rushed and i don't know if that was just kind of a you know something was done purposely or it was just you know you know just done accidentally or whatever but it just came across rushed and i'm just like oh my god what the fuck <laughs> like it just don't you don't really get to spend too much time with like uh certain aspects and this movie it's not as bad as the happening but it's very reminiscent of the um of the happening from the acting to just the weird conversations and like I've like I've explained the acting and the dialogue and how, you know just all that stuff is very reminiscent of that and this is <laughs> I don't know okay so it's one part and this may be a spoiler but it's not really uh, there's a part where medical procedure is being done and I'm just thinking, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure that that's, that's not how this procedure will more than likely be done. You know, it, it was just, I don't know, like it just, <laughs> it just came off weird. Um, but um, the humor actually worked for me. That the humor was actually surprisingly good. It was certain times where certain lines of dialogue were delivered or whatever, and it came across funny. I'm like, what the hell? Like, there is a one joke where they start to figure out that time is, you know, passing by quick and everything else, and they're trying to figure out, you know, what's what's going on. And one of the black characters look at the other black person and says that like, uh, I bet they wish they were black <laughs> or I bet this is one of those times they wish they were black. And I just started laughing. I'm like, that is fucking, that, that's good. That was, that was a good, that was a good joke. And I did like that. Um, but one thing that just threw me off was that it seemed like everybody kind of aged differently. You know, it wasn't anything of where like everybody aged at the same time. It was like, that, that's what was kind of weird for me. I don't know, because it, it really didn't explain why people age at a certain time. Because it seemed like the kids were going through aging like super duper quick. And the adults were going through it going through it slow. Some of them went through it real quick. Some of them, you know, it's just like, why? Why would it, you know, and I'm just like, okay, cool, whatever. <clears throat> it is what it is. But it just didn't seem like everything, everybody aged together organically. Uh, and there were some stupid decisions that were made by uh, a, a particular character at a particular time in the movie. And, you know, I like I, I speak on it when I talk about movies. I hate when characters do stupid things that normally in real life, they probably would do the total opposite or, you know, just whatever. And it was just like, oh, my God. So it, it had times like that, but uh, overall, this movie is a movie that I don't regret seeing. It's just, this was ever since, I want to say The Visit, 
this and Glass was the uh, movies that I really kind of felt that he didn't do his best at. You know, Glass wasn't as bad as I say as this movie, but it was kind of like, yeah, he, he could have did better with this. And I don't know, like, would I recommend it? I definitely would not recommend this movie. If you're going to watch it, I would say either see it during the matinee or just wait till it comes out on streaming and rent it. Or you go check it out at Redbox. But this was not a great film. This is one of the lesser films from M. Night Shyamalan. I wouldn't say that it's as bad as The Happening. Or as bad as Lady in the Water. But it's, it's like floating down there somewhere. With the Lady in the Water and the, uh, in The Happening. And I just. I really didn't enjoy this film. I didn't hate it. But I didn't enjoy it. You know. So if you have plans of want to go see that i'll just wait off and just you know check out something else um and speaking of that something else 